Alright guys, now we're gonna do this problem which states Force F acts on the frame such that its component acting along member AB is 650 pounds which means this component is 650 from B to A and the component acting along a member BC is 500 pounds directed from B towards C which means this is 500 Determine the magnitude of F and its direction theta and set this angle to 60. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to form a triangle in the following manner. We're basically going to move this vector over here forming a parallelogram or we're going to use this triangle so this is 650 this is the force actually let me make it a little more angled like it is and this is the 500 force 500 now let me draw this dotted line and this dotted line So you know that this angle is 45 degrees, this angle right here. Remember this is originally over here. And you know that this is 45 degrees, so this is 45 degrees, it's the same thing. And you know that this one is 60 degrees, and you know this one is 45 degrees right here. So this whole angle is 105 degrees, you just add this too. Perfect. Now we have two sides and the angle between them. And whenever you have two sides and the angle between them in a triangle, to find the other components, you should start with the law of cosines. Of cosines. Which states that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AC cosine of big C which is the angle between them so C so let's just put let's plug in the numbers now you know that C square which is obviously F is this one F square is equal to A square which is 650 square plus 500 square minus 2 times 650 times 500 and I'm gonna put it down here cosine of the angle with imminent which is 105 right out of space if you solve for C remember when you solve all this you gotta uh, square root it don't forget the C is equal to 916.8 91 which is equal to F now that you got F to find uh, this angle we're gonna use the law of sines it's the easiest way to do it law of sines states that A over sine of A is equal to B over sine of B which is equal to C over sine of C so if we got the force let's pretend the force is A now we got 916.91 over sine of 105 is equal to let's say 500 over sine of the angle what that we're looking for which is theta in this case theta so if you solve for theta just solve this equation for theta you're going to get that the answer is 31.78 degrees and those are the final answers